What's going on guilty guys and gals? We got a new Pokemon trailer today, so you know what that means. We've got stuff to go over again. Alright. <laughs> so first off, let's talk about um, some old returning Pokemon that we're seeing in the uh, Japanese trailer. Um, we have Reuniclus here being used by Bede, the new rival character we got. Um, I thought Marini was new, but apparently we've seen it already. <laughs> Um, in the grass here you can see Lipard, which looked really weird to me the first time I saw it because of the tail, but that's kind of cool. I like Lipard. Hopefully it'll get a Galarian something. I don't know. <laughs> and then uh, there's one more, right? Oh yeah, Krogunk in this literally the same screenshot as Reuniclus. I just forgot to talk about it. So yeah, we got, uh, we got Toxicroak, we got Reuniclus, and we got Lipard. So, not a lot, but... It's something. Um, yeah, th that's pretty good choices. I'm surprised with Reuniclus, but uh, other than that, I can see the rest of them being, you know, Galar Pokemon. Uh, but now let's get to the main event, which is Galarian Forms. Guys, I'm going to do a video on Galarian Forms, because everybody and their uncle is going to be doing a video on Galarian Forms, and I just want to try to figure out what one could be other than surfetched surfetched i think has to happen now or i will cry <laughs> um so we got wheezing um wheezing's galarian form is obviously based around the industrial revolution <laughs> it's got the smokestacks from like you know factories and it's got the facial hair from the era <laughs> um but it's actually an air purifier which is i guess why it's a fairy type um I don't know how I feel about that, but uh, I guess it like inhales toxins and then the smokestacks spit out purified air and then it keeps the toxins because it's a poison type and that's what makes the green smoke come out of it. Eh, interesting design. Uh, <laughs> I, I saw someone relate it as basically the meme uh, regional form, like Alolan Exeggutor is, and yeah, I can agree with that. Um, but as for cool ones, Zigzagoon. Look at Zigzagoon! Okay, I'll be honest and say I didn't really know Zigzagoon was based on a badger to begin with, but um, original Zigzagoon and a Japanese badger. Yeah, I can sort of see it now. <laughs> um, because these are obviously based on European badgers, um, which are black and white. This is the kind of badger I think of immediately, but that's because I don't live in Japan, so. Uh, <laughs> it also, like, okay, this is super obvious, but people have been pointing out that it looks like the band members of KISS <laughs> with the tongue out and everything. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the second inspiration is going to be, because we don't have a lot of information about it yet, other than that it's like, the evil team's rat Pokemon, basically, and it's beloved by hooligans, so... Maybe it's just, like, edgy. <laughs> that seems to follow what it looks like. Um, the last thing I want to talk about with Zigzagoon, before I move on in a second here, is Obstagoon, uh, the evolved form of Linoon, which is crazy. That ju They just dropped that on us. That's wild. Um... Zigzagoon and Linoon follow like a trend, right? Like Zigzagoon zigzags and can't walk in a straight line. Linoon can only go straight. It can never turn. Um, and Obstagoon blocks things. So it, it just stops things from moving, which is kind of weird. You'd think the last one would be something that could turn in corners or whatever, but I'm fine with it. It sort of makes sense. It's like sort of a mixture of <laughs> Zigzagoon and Linoon in a way. Um, but yeah, I, 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 he looks kind of weird, but I guess I like him. He's not too bad. Um, he definitely has, like, Kiss-looking inspirations to him. But I think he could also just be goth. <laughs> um, there's a couple more little things that I wanted to talk about. Um, these are just more of auxiliary details that don't really matter, but we're going to talk about them anyway. Um, Morpeko, the new Pokemon we got. 
or more Pico. I, I think it's more Peco because I tried to figure out what its name would be. Uh, I always try to do this because it helps me pronounce them. Um, so more Peco is morph because it changes forms constantly and peckish because it's hungry, I believe. Um, I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong, but that's what I'm going with for now. <laughs> um, there's also this thing called Pokemon Jobs that we got revealed in like Twitter, which is really annoying, but it was in the Japanese trailer as well. So if you watched that, you would have seen it. You just didn't know what it was. Um, so I'm going to have to actually open up these screenshots. Give me a second. So if the thing would load, basically it looks like the islands from Alola, like where you had the berry island and the spa island, except it's jobs. So I guess that sort of makes more sense. I don't know. So yeah, it says now hiring Pokemon. Believe it or not, it's very common for people in Pokemon to work together in the Galar region. Many corporations and universities request the help of Pokemon through what are known as Poke jobs. Um, this is really blurry. There are different kinds of jobs available. You'll be able to obtain Pokemon, or you'll find that certain Pokemon types are good for certain jobs. Um, so yeah, obviously. It's like, I need a, a, a Pokemon to deliver some mail. Boom. Throw your wing gull in there. It's perfect. <laughs> um, this is available at the Pokemon Center, um, which makes sense too. We see the little booth here where you get them with this new Rotom form on it, um, which is apparently called Rotomi, or there it is, yeah, Rotomi. You can, uh, it basically just gives you the jobs, I think. I don't know if it's actually like going to be a real Pokemon form, probably not. Everything is Rotoms in this game. Everything is Rotoms. Um, but that's pretty much it. I don't know, I really don't know about what Rotomi is. Are we going to get the drone Rotom and like this Rotom as real Pokemon? I don't know. Um, there's one more thing about Pokemon jobs. Um, one of the icons in this first screenshot here looks kind of like a weird shuriken style clink. <laughs> I don't know what to take from that. Um, cause people are saying Galarian clink, which if there isn't one, it's actually going to be weird now because he's a gear and like the whole thing is based around like there's a whole city based around gears. I kind of thought it would be like ancient gears though. Like it would go to um, like stone gears or like old rusty gears, something like that. But this looks more like a just a different kind of gear, like a, a different kind of cog. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, but. I don't know how I feel about any of this stuff. It's cool, for sure, but it's just kind of interestingly weird. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to research the UK now, I guess, and try to figure out what some great Galar forms would be to make another video. <sighs> Wish me luck. <laughs> like and subscribe. Bye.